Hi, Brad Ward, Ward's Auctions. It is uh, coming up on our final antiques and estate type sale of the of the year two, uh, 2017. This is going to be on November 26th, 27th. That's a Sunday, Monday. Sunday, we start the sale at 11 o'clock. We'll open the doors at 10. Monday, we'll open the doors at, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and we'll start the sale at 6. Really, you want to come on the Friday, the 24th, 4 o'clock till 8 o'clock, so that you can really, really look at the sale. It's a huge sale. So huge that we're actually in a, in a whole different building right now. It probably sounds a bit echoey. You're probably not familiar with the surroundings that are behind me. But it's a, it's a large sale. It's still the same building, 11802 145th Street in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. For those that are out on the internet, uh, uh, who knows where. And we're, we're in the West Bay right now. And what we have in this bay right now, as you can see, are these massage chairs and beds. Uh, that that uh, that mechanical that go in all different positions and saunas. Uh, the lighting, of course, is horrible, so you're going to get this chaos. This, as you can see, there's a remote control to make the bed go up and down, and do. And there's several of these. This is from a, a store closure, or not a store closure. I shouldn't say that. They are a uh, a seizure from from the landlord. There's these brand new infrared saunas. This one here is a little bit bigger on my. Uh, on my left and as we come into the next one and there's Jim Bagley speaking of cataloging we do have the firearms auction coming up in December on the, on the 9th and uh, and so we got that going on look at these massage chairs some of these retail for ten thousand dollars and they're all out of the store there's a lay down bed there that's actually an infrared sauna as well and uh, let me just a uh, quick introduction over here to Linda Bagley from Bud Haynes down in Red Deer Hi, just want to welcome you. I uh, hope you'll catch this auction. It, it's fantastic. This chair feels great. We just finished cataloging 907 lots, so uh, be sure to be at our preview on Friday, December 8th from 3 to 8. We hope to see you there. Bidding will start online next week. Terrific. Thanks, Linda. So that's for the firearms auction, and that's going to wrap up the year. 907 lots they have for that sale. Look at all this brand new inventory over here. Uh, these are all beds, like I said, that do all sorts of magic things. There's more mechanical chairs over there. Here's Jane literally getting a massage as we speak. This is how, this is how we celebrate a day of cataloging around uh, at, at Ward's Auction. So this is in the, in the end bay. You're going to have to come out of the front of the building like you, know, that you normally would and come in a whole different bay. Uh, on the west of the south facing, uh, but it's at the west end of the, at the building. Most, those that have been here before are familiar with the bay. And so you're going to be able to come in here on the viewing day and come and try these out a little bit and, uh, and see these things are fantastic. Like I said, some are $10,000. So uh, bye for now. We're going to see you next door. Okay, back in the main room now, and uh, so we were, we were next door, you saw a lot of stuff in there. We've also spilled out into the outdoors, because there's a holiday trailer out there that uh, doesn't have a lot of miles on it, I'm told by the consigner, but it's been sitting unused for ages and ages. There's also a motor home out there, we're not going to add it to the video, you're going to see stills, and it's a big motor home, it, you're going to have to tow it away because the transmission is, is, it needs either repair, overhaul, replace, whatever. Um, it is what it is. A big, huge motor, so maybe you just want to buy it for the motor. So take a look at that one. Those are outside, so you're going to see those a little bit. So as I was walking along, you saw some nice antique pieces. We've got quite a few uh, Crane Thomas paintings, original paintings in the sale. Some in, in little groups of three, some individually. Uh, they are actually from the family. And so have a good look at those ones. There are some, some interesting different types that we see. This is a quality newer piece of furniture and it's actually a Donald Trump collection pieces. It's actually kind of neat. I'm sure you'll see the, the uh, pictures of the label on the, on the internet. Uh, the image gallery does have way more to see than as we're walking through. This is an antique chest, uh, a court cupboard if you will. And there's a bullet hole right here. So I'm sure there's a story to be told from that. The bullet hole went, bullet went right through there indented there and into there and carried on I'm quite sure. I wonder if it got stuck inside. Must have got stuck inside, long buried, dug out or something. Interesting, interesting piece and really nicely detailed carving. The quality of that is, is terrific. Uh, Black Forest clock, cuckoo clock here. It does work beautifully, it does dance around when it, uh, when it goes off, when it chimes. 
We don't sell fur coats, so don't look at those. Yes, we do have some fur coats to sale. There's always exceptions to every rule. I say we don't do it, but you know, it happens. Um, piles and piles of tools, all from one house, you're gonna see them. This was all out of a fella's one collection, he had, you know, his tool room, he had the garage and a basement workshop uh, out of St. Albert, and so, you know, there's no way we can sell that individually, even though there's thousands of dollars worth of hardware. This is like a whole big lot, like this whole shelf and everything on it is a lot. You're going to see lots of tools come up as we as we go through the walkthrough, and of course on the gallery. There's china tables or uh, uh, dinner sets. Big huge partner's desk, this is a partner's desk. There's more modern pieces, there's mid-century modern and modern. Can't point everything out. Uh, walnut bedroom suite back there. Love story panel, little tea set here. There's porcelains all over the place. Um, the the retail stuff we talked about out of the uh, that and that's actually a um, landlord seizure for those massage chairs. And there's smaller pieces that we're going to get to in here. Dome top top trunk. Look at all the tools, all that stuff. Lots of it brand new, never been uh, never been opened, never been unpackaged. Some stuff that was gently used. He was definitely very nice with his tools. More antique and modern pieces back here, and more tools. Brand spanking new, laser levels, and uh, the list just goes on. So make sure you have a really good look at the website for that. Couple of really neat stacking chair sets. Uh, Mid-century one here, still has the, the labeling on the bottom of it. Lot number 510 on that one, and so you can get a nice description of it off the website. Again, these are six stacking chairs. Really neat design on those ones. Uh, lot number 246, help you find that on the gallery. Because sometimes you you go through that gallery and you look and you look and you're like, I know it's there, but there's so many pictures that you, you get lost in it. Even I get lost in it. People are asking, well, where's this? And I go through it three or four different times. There's two wardrobes. These are matching wardrobes. We sort of walked by the other one without mentioning it. Uh, so there's a the smaller one and the bigger one. So there are you know, two of those that are nice to have. Hanging lamps, antique lamps. Two or three of them in the sale. Writing slope here with a beautifully fitted interior. Uh, little slots for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and all the stuff going on there. This oriental motif double pedestal desk. Retail scale here. Looks like brand spanking new. Mid-century sideboard back here. So, you know, we saw some other pieces. There's this as well. I'm sure there's some other pieces coming up. Dining set. Probably have it sold as two lots. Yeah, 239. Uh, for the for the sideboard, two three eight for the table and chairs. Uh, this Bradley and Hubbard lamp, it looks like it's brand new. I don't think it's ever ha ever been used. Um, beautiful piece there. There's clocks in the sale. There's another modern piece. This one here that you know, probably won't be able to see the front of it just from camera angles. It's a modern, top top quality piece as well. As is this one with my left hand on it. Um, you know, it's it's it's. Uh, people say, oh, they don't build furniture like they used to. They do. They do, but if you walked into a retail store to buy this, uh, those of you that are auction uh, goers and, and savvy shoppers, you know you're, you're not going to pay retail. But you go into a, a quality, top quality retail store and you're paying thousands, of, I mean thousands and thousands of dollars for, for a piece. In fact, this chair may even have the retail price on the, web, uh, on the website in the description. It's lot 461. And it seems to me it was over 2000 or something along that line. Um, I don't want to make a liar of my, out of myself, but it's, it's not a small amount of money. These chairs back here, I don't want to sit on it because I've got the microphone in my back pocket, but uh, they're very comfortable, very nice, and they're low down. You know, you just sort of feel like you're really, really properly lounging. Set of antique books in here. Uh, you're probably not going to read them because they're actually in a foreign language, but they sure look cool, and they make you look smart. So that's always a bonus. A uh, great selection of, of uh, uh, Persian and Iranian wool rugs. Uh, most of them most of them like like new. Uh, there's some oddities in there, and there's some there's some that are a little bit worn. But most of these are they're like brand new condition. Uh, you, you just can't discount it. Talked about the 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 store seizure stuff. Uh, brand new product. Some of it is store, like display. This one was probably in the room. You could display on it. You can see the the tag on it was a thousand dollars. It vibrates or whatever. But look at all these brand new in the box foot massagers, smaller ones that you can just have at the foot of your already favorite chair. And we're not just talking about something that, you know, kind of just vibrates. We're talking about a proper massage piece. You know, they're, they're very impressive pieces down here. There's more tools down here off camera. Um, uh, antique clock here. This cabinet 
came from the same place as the dining room seat. That's probably an obvious one. This is a sterling silver flatware set here. I forget the pattern, but it's lot number 77. You can look it up in the catalog. These typist desks are neat. Uh, I won't display it because I'll probably end up tripping over it. But you fold it up and the typewriter goes inside. In the cabinet here, we've got uh, vintage metals, military metals. There's rural Worcester China. Um, there is fossils. There's soapstones. There is vintage locks, padlocks. Uh, the little tray filled with, with uh, router bits and so on. There's cigar cutters. Here's some more up here. You know, these are sterling. This one is uh, British Hallmark sterling. It's not clean. Uh, this would clean up like a, like a million bucks. This one's sterling. Those are fun pieces. Those are just fun pieces. Antique sword, 187. You're going to want to pay close attention to that in the catalog. Uh, most of the scabbard is gone. The top piece is there, but most of the leather has long deteriorated. But at least you got that piece you can rebuild. A couple little sterling ink pots. Those are nice. More vintage locks. Take a look at those ones. Those are fun. Lots of fun. And some other stuff inside the cabinet there, cloisonne and whatnot. Up here we've got some uh, carved ivory and soapstone. There's Lalique. You know, we don't very often see Lalique, cranberry, more soapstones up there, Royal Crown Derby. Um, not sure what those are. Uh, some Catani pieces, so on. This is a neat table. I won't demonstrate it, but if you look at 393 on the listing in the gallery, you'll probably see it displayed where it separates. And so there's actually a leaf that will go in the middle of this, but then you can also separate it and then each one will tilt up. So you've got two tilt top tables that also join down to make one dining table that you can also put it in a big wide leaf to make it even a bigger dining table. Very, very nice piece and a beautiful condition. A uh, modern, but definitely a mid-century design chair and ottoman here. Uh, again, probably a, a, a significant retail, because we're talking about a modern piece. One, two, two in your catalog. And then with it, not with it, but I mean, makes a great display beside it, is this mid-century style. And it's a, vin it's a more vintage one on the floor lamp. Little grandmother clock. Uh, this is uh, probably hard to see in the video, but 577 is actually a horse motif. There's three horse heads inside here making the pedestal for this table. Huge big bevel glass. I don't know what the diameter is on this. 577 is the lot number, but that's got to be 60 inches or something like that. It's, mo it's a monster. It's a great, great piece. Uh, sideboard here. Little cinnamon mounted bear. Smaller one so you can fit it in anywhere. Delicate little chair here. Nice, I mean, this is just a really nice mid 20th century uh, server size sideboard or D table or whatever. You already saw the other massage chairs next door. Here's another one. So that wasn't all of them. So we have one in the main sales room, and then we will have the other ones over where we showed you before, and they'll all be for display. But this one, uh, we just uh, so we could have one representation, and we'll let you use them. You know, we're going to ask you to take your shoes off if you're going to get in it and whatever, but uh, you can try it out, and you're going to find that it's not just a bzzz kind of a vibration. We're talking about this thing gets in and, and needs and massages and, and does what it is supposed to do. And more retail product out of that uh, situation, massagers, handheld ones, foot ones, and, and whatnot. Uh, lots and lots of stuff. So, uh, uh, not wrought iron, but a cast solarium set or patio set. Neat little locker system here. Uh, in through here, we've got sideboards and desks. More massagers. So there's, there's more product. Make sure you come and have a good look and see which ones you like. Another secretary desk. This is our last sale, um, uh, non-firearm sale, so you know those of you who are used to us, we do a little giveaway. These ones are not from us, these are from Centaur Moving and Deliveries, who, who they do most of the moving for us, and so they've supplied three or four packages here for, uh, for giveaway, uh, to, just to say thank you, and we will come up with something ourselves as well, not as fancy as their stuff, but we'll give you some token thing. Again, to say thank you for your support throughout the year. More tools! And nice big lots. I think this one you're looking at a shelf per, per lot. So you get two or three items, several items. Uh, really nice value. Some of it is unused. And, the, and again, like I mentioned earlier, the stuff that was used, gently used. Honestly, gently used. Um, there's some coins and paper money in here. Sterling brush and comb set here. Uh, you know, again, I've mentioned before that, that they don't make them anymore. You can't get those anymore. Uh, from, from Burks, so you have to get them on the secondary market like this. There's a stack of 
73 twenty dollar bills all going as one lot lot number five zero seven there's seventy three of them that's kind of an interesting way to sell them there's a music box here I'm gonna fire it up <laughs> It's got 12 different songs it'll play. They select which song you want it to play and it'll, it has 12 songs. Very, very neat. Works like a charm as you can see. I was probably a little bit too close to it, so it probably was a bit overwhelming. Uh, lots of stuff in this room here, of course, including uh, pocket watches and silver jewelry, costume and turquoise, and lots of appraisals pocket watches, wristwatches, and I see Jane's doing a little bit of Christmas shopping here. Maybe she's got something she could add. There's lots of engagement rings if anybody's looking at getting engaged this Christmas, including this one, which is valued at almost $17,000 appraised value. We've got little Art Deco pieces. Uh, we've got uh, beautiful earrings and matching rings if you feel so inclined to treat your missus. We've got antique pieces, including uh, this brooch and earrings. They're from about 1860, so 150 years old. Uh, we've got beautiful earrings uh, that are sapphire diamond. Uh, this Burke's bracelet is uh, golden diamond, and it is uh, the appraised value is $12,000. We've also got other uh, Burke's pieces, vintage watches, including, where's the quorum? Uh, a vintage quorum watch from about the 1960s, which is really neat. Uh, we've got a Wittenauer, um, just all sorts of fun stuff for Christmas. Uh, diamond and uh, jelly opal bracelet. Um, yeah, just lots of fun stuff. Terrific. Thanks, Jane. Yeah, she's uh, got lots of stuff there, and I'm sure she's tried them all on. Um, underneath, there's still more everything from costume to amber to sterling to lots and lots more jewelry there's a, a big suite down there with coral um, you know don't discount that in the next cabinet costume turquoise and sterling pieces that are going to sell uh, typically sterling you're going to sell five and six at a time so nice lots you, you know you're not selling one piece at a time in the cabinet here Dalton jugs Beswick horses uh, quality crystal, I'm not going to say Waterford, I'm not sure offhand, but it's going to be something that's going to be quality. Some neat vintage lunch boxes, including Popeye and so on, and laugh in. Lots of fun there. There's lots of artwork on the walls throughout here. And you know, make sure you're looking, you're looking at the gallery on the website. More tools. Tools are mixed in all throughout the whole um, sale, both days. This is one lot. I mean, the, the value in this lot is, is significant. Router bits and shaper bits in quarter and half and possibly five-eighths shafts. I'm not sure, but certainly uh, quarters and halves and lots of them. And many of them, if not most of them, unused, completely unused. Hockey cards, uh, collectibles. This is uh, scenty stuff, brand new that would have come from that, that um, where all the massage pieces came from. China cups and sauces. These are fun. This is all one lot. This is all Christmas decorations. This one here, there, and most if not all of them, illuminator make noise. You see, this one here actually plugs into your mini light socket. All brand new in box. Oh, well, maybe they were used, I'm not sure, but all with their boxes, they probably were used. And, um, but all in mint condition. This one is, uh, and this one, this is all Star Trek, with a couple exceptions. I think there's a lunar thing in there or whatever. But you see, you press the button. Seven raise their shields. Raise ours. Their shields are going up. Lock faces and targets. They're locking faces. Raise shields. Fire! Yeah. Not too, not too geeky there at all. Very cool, and a whole bunch. So two trays all as one lot. There's another one that is all Star Wars. It's two, two tray lots all together. I'm not sure we're gonna see that. It's on the last aisle. Um, but it's all Star Wars. What fun is that? Uh, I guess we probably should hurry up. This has probably been rambling on and rambling on. But you can see we've got Royal Crown Derby. We've got antique student lamps here. We've got Crocs. We've got brass. Again, more antique lamps here. Some flatware. Uh, neat old toaster, which makes a neat decor item. More lunch boxes. Dukes of Hazzard. This is one lot. You have four pieces. Land of the Giants. 
Land of the Giants. Talk about vintage stuff. And this is an Aladdin piece. Uh, Fozzie Bear. Hey, hey, hey. No, that's not Fozzie Bear. That's Fat Albert. We don't talk about Fat Albert. More, look at this is all welding stuff. Brand spanking new uh, wire there. Coffee grinder. Talk about eclectic. There's one of everybody in this sale. Uh, the Ukrainian motif pieces here. More Royal Crown Derby. More tools. Uh, some vintage tools, mostly modern tools. Look at this, all one lot. Calipers, soldering iron, never been out of the packaging. Uh, knife set, file set, all one lot, all together. Bunch of stuff off camera here, mostly off camera. There's another aisle down there. Lots of good stuff, including that Star Trek and leaded panels. However, I need to show you the warehouse because we've spilled, remember we've spilled into a whole another bay. We spilled into the outside. We've also spilled into the warehouse. So look at this welder. That's got virtually no miles on it. Router tables with bits. Um, I'm not saying they're all selling with it, but sure, everything inside there is selling as a lot. Another router table with everything inside. Vices, tubs full of stuff. There's a small wood lathe here, uh, lot 589. Uh, so there's your lathe for doing some woodworking on it. A compressor. This is all. Uh, axles, brand spanking new, and a whole bunch of components that the fellow was going to make a utility trailer with. So all there. More tools, shop vacs, desks, uh, uh, multi drawers filled with stuff, more router tables. You know, it just goes on and on and on. Um, I'm sure this video is way too long already, so we'll just wrap it up. It is November 26th and 27th. That's a Sunday and a Monday. Wardsauctions.com is where you can get lots of details. The sale is 11802 145th Street in Edmonton, Alberta. You can call us at 780-451-4549. All this verbiage will be in the description of the video anyway. Uh, it's a two-day sale. We go up to lot 350 the first day, 351 to the end on the second day. Hopefully that sort of covers the, the gist of the whole thing. And then, of course, we have the December 9th, or, uh, yeah, December 9th firearms auction in conjunction with Bud Haynes and, and company out, out of Red Deer. So thanks for watching. Again, my name is Brad Ward. Phone if you have any questions. Uh, online bidding, by the time you're seeing this, has probably already started. So hopefully we'll see you at the sale.